Hello there fellow teenings of the teening army. I'm the gaming teasing girl storm. Welcome to possibly the last episode of Layers of Feel. Now don't worry, this ain't like the final episode of Layers of Fear, that's the uh, main game itself. There is actually some uh, DLC that was included with it called Inheritance, which is supposed to be somewhat of a... It, from what I've understood, it's supposed to go off what I consider to be uh, the... basically the daughter ending. Now, of course, uh, we just have pretty much one more thing to find. And yes, I pretty much say a big outburst to this right here. Because what the fuck? Also, so, um... That's a pretty high ceiling you got there, buddy. That's, uh... Hmm... Two choices. Open door... Or... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, cut the trigger by the toe. Go eeny, meeny, miny. I don't know if it had like any choice in the matter. Wait, what? There once was a man for passing, but then his wife went out of fathom. His face was a mess. Her face was a mess. He couldn't care less. She hated the man with a passion. Oh, that's the thing that was on the, uh... Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out! Let me out of this madness! Nothing to do with her. Whee! Into the void!
Oh, this is lovely. Should I even be doing this? Need something here. Paintings. Okay, I fire that bit is right there. on here I know you could do something with this right yeah I know you're pretty much seeing my desktop here um don't worry too much about it uh, puzzle guide Yeah, I'm just looking up a guide here because I know you can do something with this. I know you can do something with this. Providing up my... Uh Yeah, now there are some uh, Easter eggs you can do with this as well. So I'm going to show off uh, the Easter eggs as I can here. Let's turn that off. Alright, uh, first one is... L I G H.
I know I'm doing it right, ain't I? Okay, it looks like I have to actually, uh... I don't know how exactly I would find these, but apparently the solution is um, three, six, three, five, three, three, five, four. Oh no, it's gone! Oh, I wanted to play more with it! Ow, okay, I'll throw off the Easter eggs when, uh... I guess it's any bonus or anything like that, I'll throw it off, uh... Like, I'll edit it into the video. God, I am such an idiot. To think that someone like me could ever compete with you in all your sublime beauty, everlasting, immortal, What is taking so long? Open this fucking door! I need to go! Open up! Hell is... Oh, God. No. No, 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 no! What have you done? No! And we... And am I supposed to do this? Go all the way? I'm supposed to go all the way. Alright. I have a feeling this is like scripted that I'm supposed to uh Like I'm actually supposed to go all the way here
Yeah, I think this is scripted. Then I'm actually supposed to go all the way. Okay. Finally, someone had to bear witness. I couldn't just look at my own work. Art and the artist needed an audience, a critical eye on things. I knew what I had to do. I gouged it, scooped it up like ice cream, felt like a butcher. A monster, but at least there was to come something beautiful from all this filth. I'm not even questioning it anymore. I'm just accepting it. I- OH! Oh, you're not even gonna let me finish! Hmm, I see. Am I supposed to do something here? <laughs> oh, I see. I'm supposed to find, like, the pieces. I think I'm actually near the... <laughs> I didn't really think I'm near the end game. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, 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 what the f- Okay, that was not me! I did not do that! I did not do that! I- What the fuck? Now, I swear I did not go and uh, spin my... Spin my mouth like that. I swear.
Whoa, 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 taking control from me. Fight it, fight it. It's like a metaphor or something? What? Oh, it's a puzzle. I know those two were open, right? Okay, I am doing, I am playing your game the way it's meant to be played. Give me the gun. Alright, hang on, hang on, my try to... Figure this dancing out. Uh, scale puzzle.
Wait, get them within the peel, close them go inside and open the stove to find a bottle. Say anything about a comedy. I was a whore, so we are whore. Finiset. And it's... Yes! That's it! <laughs> the loop ending. It's beautiful. Perfect. Just like I always imagined. What? What is this? I, I don't understand. <laughs> no. Stop it. Please. <laughs> So close. This time, I almost had it. Okay, I don't know why my mouse is doing that. Cause for this game, I you. I literally don't know why. My 
I know how feel how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desire. Finish it. And that's layers of fear. A game made by a, bl a bluebird team. Um, I don't really know what all this, what do we really say other than it kind of gave its story just by playing the game. Now, uh. I am gonna actually probably show it in this here, but um, we're not quite done yet with at least the main game itself. The reason being is that uh, there, as far as I can tell, there are actually two other endings we can get. This is just the normal ending, what I consider to be the loop ending. Basically, no matter what. He is trapped within his own mind. And no matter what, he will not stop until he gets it. Until he really uh based will we get it correctly. Considering that uh no matter what, he will get it. Now, one thing I will make mention of is, yes, I know, I may have missed a lot. And I do mean a lot of, uh, what was in the game. Now, I'm not going to go and try to find, like, each and everything through multiple playthroughs of this. Considering that, uh, by doing multiple playthroughs would basically mean me spending roughly... Yeah, look at this. We're roughly spending probably about uh, close to five hours on this game every single time. Just so that I can try to find each and every single thing. Now I don't know if every single thing keeps in the game so that you can, as you play through it, you get more and more of the... more of a chance to get each of the different endings. I don't know that for certain. But I will make mention is that they did give a few good scales here and there. A few good ones. Uh, aside from that, I... But for me, I actually thought it was pretty good at least in terms of how it did its storytelling. I know I'm don't look back. What? Um. Okay. Okay, it says it's giving me. Okay, it says it. Oh, it it keeps everything. Whoa, 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 what did I do? Okay, so it keeps everything that I have here. Okay, so I could. 
Okay, so I could play it over again. I'm actually not going to do that. Oh, and I can uh, go through these cities as I can. Oh, and that's lovely. But I'm just going to do that. I'm going to uh, go here. Oh, okay, I see. So they're called wife, wife and child, and painter ending. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, apparently the, I'm just looking at here, the wife ending is the neutral ending. If it's a see for gaining a neutral ending, you have a point for reason to... No idea. Now, uh, wife and child ending. This is something that apparently is e is uh one of the ones that you can't necessarily get. <laughs> uh, throughout the game, you should not know anything related to yourself or fat stuff. So we off six, of course. Pick up items related to your wife. Approach your wife with every encounter and voice her. Ignore rats and paintings as much as possible. During the child have to approach the child in red half rather than back away. Now, for this one here, it's rather interesting. Uh, for the prologue, one straight upstairs, grab key, but yeah, as you can see, you got a whole bunch of things right here. Now, this is, of course, one that you already will know, already know about right away. But, there's that one. And in terms of the self-portrait one, it's very simple. Uh, no deaths, they will pick your frequency, follow rats whenever possible. Interact with only story related items or items related to yourself with personality crooked glasses is an example. Possibly it's for going below the neutral ending. So you get the idea. But this is the wife and child ending. From what I've understood about this one, this one's supposed to be the regretful ending. <laughs> yeah, uh, the... It's muted somehow with this one. Basically, he's been really saying lie. It's always been a lie. It won't bring them back. I see it now. I know what must be done. Again, I... This is gonna be longer than... Longer than normal video. And you're pretty much seeing exactly what's going on here. This is from another YouTuber. I'll put a link in the description for this. But yes. 
This is pretty well what I consider to be the true ending. He basically realizes now what really has happened. Why he did the things he did. And now... Because of it. So yeah. And this one is the painter's ending. The self-portrait. Yes. That's it. Now I see it. All this misery. All this suffering. There was no other way. And it was all worth perfection, immortality. And that's basically the bad ending. He basically has, uh... Decided in the cell, in a way, to just... Well... Forget everything. Now, in case you're wondering who the, uh, person is that is sensory, uh... I kind of think, yeah, Trying to, uh, talk about this. Like, um... Yeah. The person who actually did all the endings here to pretty much sell it like all the endings. Now, I did skip the, uh, wife ending. Uh, that was more than like neutral ending and you saw me play through that, but, uh, this guy right here, Lambo Wood X, uh, leave a link in the description to the video here. Uh, pretty much thank you for actually doing this, cause... Now, I do know that you pretty well played this on, of course, well, a console. Uh, not to worry too much about that. I did just thank you uh, a lot for actually doing that because as well as also providing you a, providing us uh, with a guide from TrueAchievement.com. By the way, I have actually used that myself in order to get some achievements when I played uh, Time Spinner. Now I played that all on my own time, and you pretty well just saw me play through it myself. Now here, but. He pretty well will tell you what to do in order to get the, uh, three different endings. I'll do, help my, uh... Five. Okay, I'm at 45. But, uh, on, on top of that, I'll also leave a link to another video, which I'm gonna be doing right away here, which is the story explained. At least in terms of what they may, uh, consider to be the story. Like, what they may consider to be the story of uh, this. Now, one thing I will make mention of is uh, I may pause it at specific points in time, but that's more on the lines because I'll be talking about it myself. So with that being said, I'm um, going to boot it up here and let's see what Meowie Game Wiki has to in talk about. Games, Layer of Fear. Oh, and, uh, get the subtitle set to English. ...has a particular way of telling stories, using small memories and then chaining a big story. 
All fuzzy horror memories are arranged at different times during the game. Just a first-person game genre, with the creepy scenes, the items we pick up, all will help to understand the story more. All haunting abstract images are pieces of the puzzle to reveal the characters' fates. Here is a story about a family tragedy, called Layer of Fear. There you go. Uh, that right there, what the, the beginning of that actually explains quite a bit because... You don't necessarily need to have the entire story written out in a book book for you to see the entire picture you can make it certain of what you I m me myself or even you can picture what the entire story is based off of subtle clues within that specific story or even the specific uh, portion of the game or even a picture they say a picture is worth a thousand words and from that, you can get what you need there. The game time is around the middle of the 20th century. On a rainy night, thunder and lightning tear through the sky, you are standing in front of a luxurious house. Light from inside makes you feel warm and familiar. Opening the door and entering, no one thinks you are playing a horror game. The place is cool, from the interior to the building all hmm. bold classical European imprints. Yeah, but now, as I said, um... This is like, uh, from what we've seen, uh, best example I could give was something like On the Family. On the Family is a classic example of 20th century stuff. In the game, we play the role of an painter living in a large house, trying his best to be able to complete his masterpiece, especially in the place where only him, closed, lonely. He lives to draw and doesn't care about anything else. He sits and draws so much that his legs should have problems and needed prosthetics. He used to hire servants. Their main jobs were to clean the house, but he blocked these people to go into the office. He has stayed up late at night to work all night and reminded servants through scraps of paper that are posted everywhere. There is a cellar in the house and empty bottles everywhere, which meant that the painter is heavily alcoholic. I knew that right away. I legitimately knew that right away based off of what I saw there. Drink to focus on work better. In the office, when opening a cloth and pick a palm, the journey to find memories begins through the painter's eyes. It is his deep inner world, everything blurred, spinning, many scenes falling into a standoff between four walls. But in that is the painter's family story. Starting to open the first door, we can see something change as we turn the camera screen. Without a shadow of people, strange noises make us terrified. The house has lots of mousetraps, unusually many. And the wall paintings at first look very painteric, but some of them look very bizarre. The player finds a wedding invitation with a ring in a locked box with a proposal. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? Hmm. So, the painter is married, and the wife is the one inspiring him to compose. Yes. He loves her beauty and talent, and possesses her as a perfect masterpiece of art. While the wife loves her husband a lot, but when she wants to initiate a conversation or try to take care of him every meal and when he is too focused on work, all only received indifference from the husband. The first time after getting married is always the best time for two people. They share every moment, and soon have a daughter and adopt a dog to make her a friend. The wife buys care books and a pair of shoes when she doesn't even know if her baby will be a boy or a girl. As time passed, the initial salinity gradually disappears. The painter is too engrossed with works. He sleeps in the office. Leaving your wife alone and cold in the bedroom has been one of the things that causes a loving rift. It does! C consider it this way. You mail you pretty well married someone. But you... They sleep on the couch, you sleep in a luxurious bedroom. A excuse me, but uh, there's going to be some problems there. There's going to be some big, big problems right there. I'm going to let you know right away. Because of the child, the wife still tries to keep the family peace. The child grew up with the influence of the father, who was always interested in painting. And it is not strange that when he exposed his children to art early, it is a good thing. And it would be better if he taught the child the right way. 
wax strokes begin to appear on the wall as if depicting the daughter. Children are often mischievous and innocent like drawing a tree, house and horse. However, this makes the painter even more disappointed and strict with his child. He forces her to draw an image as an adult does. At this point, the frequency of the appearance of empty wine bottles is increasing, showing that the painter is increasingly stressed because the work goes to a dead end and needs wine to relieve stress. The paintings are getting more and more gruesome and bloody, implying that the work was getting worse and worse. The words mm. on the wall are also more up to prove the bad words behind the back, making the painter uncomfortable. Drinking alcohol is not good, but not drinking, the more life goes into a dead end. The painter is also forced to open the doors of the rush into a room with doors, behind it is just a wall. He must rotate many times to continue. That is a metaphor for the painter's reeling in stalemate and alcoholism. And when the endurance was limited, the wife decided to burn valuable paintings that made him angry and led to domestic violence. In the kitchen, there is a room where the food is stored, and we again see the door vibrating as if someone is behind, smashing it hard to find a way out of that dark room. And this is not the first time such entries have been found. The painter may be locked his wife in many times. My God, Domestic what the fuck? Domestic violence forced the wife and young daughter to leave the house. There is only one chair left in the rooms, implying that the painter may feel the loneliness present. After the lack of a wife and child, the painter gradually remembers wife's piano sound. He has lost the inspiration to work. Requests for portraiture are also negligently done by him. The customers request the portrait, and he paints them exactly. Those paintings are ugly. Yeah, how could he create masterpieces with the client's unpleasant faces? Therefore, after all that, the husband tried to contact the wife many times to reconcile but without her permission. However, she still loves him very much. Until that fateful day comes, the painter receives a phone call announcing a fire happening where the wife is working, and we can see in the notice found in the early game. Yeah, and I, and I found that too, in the early in the early part of the game as well. This accident caused the wife's body to deform, and also tied her up in a wheelchair. Fortunately, the daughter is not doing well, but the wife cannot take care of themselves. She must move in with her husband. And that's where that uh, thing comes about, and the wheelchair. About the husband, in the process of supporting the wife's recovery, try to repair her deformed face but with no success. During this time, the wife's inferiority complex increased. She tries to care for her daughter, walk and play favorite piano songs, going through physical and mental pain to regain her daily routine, but the husband, who does not understand it to complain when she is not strong enough to play music. He discusses her appearance and is annoyed when she demands a little love and attention. He considers it a distraction that prevents him from concentrating on work. The depression wife doesn't know who to share. I had the most beautiful dream last night. I dreamt he came to me, embraced me, loved me, as he once did. But we both know that while I dreamed my silly little dream, it was you. It was you he really lusted for. When discovering the husband had an affair with the maid, who took the husband's attention, the family had to change the maid despite the husband's objections. One night, after a rage of the alcoholic husband, the wife could not take it anymore. After telling her daughter to sleep well, she committed suicide with a cut on her wrist in the bath. Then the painter goes crazy. Even during play, we may see his schizophrenic diagnosis. The child, which lacked attention from dad, lost his mom now, and this badly affected the child's morale as the colorful paintings become more and more horrifying. About the painter directly, while trying to chase after the child, it's all just a fruitless loop. Up until this point. Yeah, and that's one thing that is very apparent with children. Um, it may not look like it, it may look like uh, they're just doing something from their nightmares or something like that. But it actually shows sometimes that uh, pictures do depict a good bit of uh, childhood, uh, bad childhood memories, and it shows. He realizes that when losing the wife, losing what he has, everything is driving him crazy. So all he cares about now is creating a masterpiece of art. During the game, 
All things gradually reveal that the painter dug the dead wife's body, took six body parts to do the disgusting things called masterpieces. Each time taking a piece, his voice echoes how to remove it from the dead body. It's terrible to his voice sounded like what happened were so ordinary. After all, all alone is left in the large house. Except for the daughter, things make a friend to the painter are only rats. They lead him the way when he is drunk. In his mind, everyone in this house has replaced them with rats. At the end of the game, players will reach three different endings, depending on how the painter behaves, when faced with the darkest things in his mind. Wife Ending This ending is also the worst. To achieve this, the player must let the wife's ghost invade the mind and ignore unnecessary items. In this ending, the painter completed the picture with a portrait of the wife. Immediately after that, the photo transforms into a horror accompanied by the author's sad voice. Then there is a scene the painter holding the painting opens the door on the second floor, which we cannot enter at the beginning of the game. This room has full of failure drawings. They seem to laugh in the painter's madness. He closes the door and continues to draw an additional sketch. It just goes on like that, so a loop of suffering never stops. That is immediately what I pretty much said right at when I finished the game right up right there to tell you about that. Why exactly I pretty much thought that right What away. he is looking for for this picture, the wife, the flourishing days. Just a selfish wish, so he never succeeds and lives forever in madness. Self-portrait ending, which is reached when the player must dodge the wife's soul whenever possible and collect nearly all of the game's items. In this conclusion, the painting is drawn for himself. It becomes a masterpiece to be displayed and handed down forever in the museum. The painter has overcome the past and his obsession to be able to draw real art. But in retrospect, he traded everything, including mind, and whether it is still considered art or not, or is it just selfishness hidden inside a senseless perception picture? That to me the what I thought right away with the self-portrait ending. Basically being that, uh, he basically sacrificed everything in order to complete the masterpiece for himself. Mother and child ending. To get this ending, the player must move to the wife's ghost as often as possible, without running away. Accept the truth as the thing to do. The completed picture shows a wife holding her daughter in her arms. At this point, the painter got rid of his madness, looked back and regretted what he did. He thinks this is the perfect masterpiece he has ever made. He walks up to a room filled with other pictures of his wife with burning scars. The painter sets fire to burn the paintings. Now, and he burst into tears. He kneels and caresses the newly painting, while the fire is burning everything, including the painter. The screen dims as an end to a bitter tragedy in life, and people will never be able to know precisely what is the most important thing to them. Sometimes we are always caught up in money and fame and forget the things we have. When you run into trouble or success, only they will stay with you. And most importantly, the family is the essential thing in life. Video stops here. Thank you for watching. If it feels good, please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. See you next time in the videos. At that point, now... What basically what that's explained there, what I pretty much thought of right away for it, for pretty much this entire game in itself. Like what I think we thought of right away for Layers of Fear. What, um, oh, trying to, what could be a good way of saying it, uh, basically. The entirety of the game itself, and the entirety of the story, like what I initially thought of right away. I mean, then again, uh, what's he put what that said? Then I have no idea whether or not it is a he or a C. I just think it might be test the speech, but regardless, there. Um, for the most part, that means the what I thought of right away and. A lot of the time here and there, we are caught up in fame and forth and everything, and we basically don't even think of our own immediate family. 
But one thing I will make mention of is that I knew now that pretty much I do like to do this, but I do limit myself. I don't want to leave making it so that I am fully doing this. Now, that's not to say that I will not do this, but I try to limit myself at least somewhat on this and not like constantly think of this stuff thing because I mean, I got my own life to live besides this. And you get the idea. Regardless, though. As you can possibly already can tell, thank you so much for watching my playthrough of Layers of Fear, the main game itself. Now, I might do Inheritance sometime later. Later, don't, don't worry, I am going to actually do Inheritance. Don't worry about that, that's like a, I guess, a, something to do with the uh, true ending to the game, which is the wife and child ending. Regardless though, as you can possibly tell, uh, the link will be in the description for the two videos that I did so in this video. Now I know I didn't edit it out, but you'll get to see the videos regardless. Anyways, as I said before, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to check out other videos I've done in the past, or to stay tuned for future videos on the channel. Comment down below. Uh, your thoughts about the game, game and what you and it, what uh, you thought the story was aside from uh, what was shown. Or if you want me to check out a game on the channel, be sure to let me know down below. Until next time, stay twenty percent cooler, and I'll see you in the next video, my friends. Bye bye.